online too. And, um, but I will say, like, if you just use stamps.com to ship books um, in a poly mailer, oh, you know, like, that's what they're using now are poly mailers. Right, those great, great, great poly, poly mailers. mailers. Yeah. Yeah. So stamps.com, uh, the books we're shipping right now with, with a paperback with a greeting card and uh, stuff in it and a couple other things. But it's about $250. Um, So now you've got to call it. You got to call it probably five bucks. You know, uh, maybe five fifty, depending on how you have your labor going into yeah. it. Uh, so, but that would be an interesting thing. So, yes, if you're charging six or seven, it's too high for shipping, I don't think. Yeah. Then you could do it. Good. But your idea for sure did his it ten bucks. His first one was nine ninety five or something like that. And the idea you talked about with your book that all the people overseas, you just ordered them off of Amazon. Yeah. So, them. so yeah, you could. So had them send them. You yeah. could go to CreateSpace. Because mm -hmm. CreateSpace, you get a significant discount, and you can sh remotely ship books out of CreateSpace. I've done that. When people have ordered my books in bulk, like my music books for a festival or something, I just go into CreateSpace and just put the address in, put the credit card in, and send it to them. Yeah. So you could, to begin this, you could test something like this without printing any books. Just kind of do it. It's so fast to get them printed. If you had to, it's like, oh, I suddenly have a hit. Oh, we're in you could just do them out of create space at your cost. It, so it would you'd be you'd be under the cost of your book. You know, like, if, you, if you guys want, let me give you some numbers on exactly what it's costing to do that. Did you say the mailer was called? Polly. They just call them Polly mailers. And it's funny. I, I just I just got two copies of. Brunson's book, and one came in a poly mailer, one came in a cardboard sleeve, you know, <laughs> and they were two weeks apart. So, but it may be they ran out of one thing or the other, um, but they're pretty cheap. Or they have multiple places to do it. Now that could very well be two. It could be his people just shipping them, or it could be a yeah. fulfillment center to do that. So what we came up with on the shipping was this. So this book, uh, the book we've got on Amazon is like about 140 pages, okay? And for us to go in, uh, so our shipping, you gotta ship it to yourself too, you can ship it to anyone else, okay? So we created about 50 cents, 50 or 50 books or whatever. Space won't distribute it as a paperback to to there. What if you just said U.S. only? This offer is only good. For you US could. I mean, if you really want to cap, don't worry about it. You're probably going to miss five or ten percent depending yeah. on your market. Or uh, give give a PDF option and a print option. Mm -hmm. You can put two little bucks and say, you know, for you know <coughs> the U.S. the hard the book part is U.S. offer only, and yeah. for the for the work, you know, internationally, it's a free PDF. It's a PDF. You can pick any one, but if you want a book, you get the book. 
If not, you can get the PDF. And, and for international, do the PDF. People, even though he offers the free book as PDF, the people order the book. A lot of Oh, people. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying just stay, yeah. but for overseas, just to kind of right. keep, yeah. keep the, you, you know. You may not be actually doing very many, maybe just a few, but if you're sitting there, you know, typing, going into, or putting in, it know, takes time. do 50 orders on Amazon, you're going to be there for a week. Yeah, you know. that's what your VA has got to be for. <laughs> and I was wrong, I actually um, magnified that number, the Canada one. Remember that if, if you choose to go into create space and not do expanded distribution, uh, for instance, that was something you pointed out. Right, because it's Your cheaper. minimum print cost is a lot cheaper for those, um, for your, uh, uh, if you're trying to set it at the, at the lowest possible sale price on Amazon, then it'll be about a, a dollar cheaper if you don't do expanded distribution. So for this book, the minimum cost on Amazon was four dollars and fifty cents, and the um, and then with shipping and everything, I actually factored a dollar fifty per book for labor. And that's what that ten dollars and thirty one cents came for shipping to Canada. So you could turn off expanded distribution for the launch, mm -hmm. turn so it back yeah. on and then turn it back on when you're done. Mm -hmm. Although kind of do I'm wondering too if that's part of where, through the expanded distribution, if that's where they all these people are getting the book to be put it in front of you, or a lot of it at least. It could be, but I did not. You know, I went and looked at you know that article that you can go go read, the Create Space books don't have all this sort of new buying stuff in it. It's only sort of books that have been in the used market for a while are popping up. But there's a lot of new books that, that isn't, they don't have a used market. And the CreateSpace books, they, put, they don't even have the, the used market on them. So they're, they're really much, you know, playing around with different options on sort of, sort of that. But yeah, just you could turn that off for, a, for doing something like this. Just turn it off to get the maximum and give you the most flexibility for, for print. Well, and we just chose on this book to always keep it down because we knew we would be always doing a free book offer to right. people around the world. Right. So uh, we want it down at $4.50 a unit. Uh, but the trick is finding where you're going to ship from. Like uh, we found that Mexico was, a little, uh, was challenging. Um, Eastern Europe is a mess. You try to ship to Croatia or something like that and it's it's nearly impossible. Just to let you know, uh, Chris Carlson and uh, Joe Epolito are on. And a Joe! Few, a few other people that I don't know over there. Chris! <laughs> and a few other people! <laughs> hey. they're, 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 uh, they're like voyeurs in <laughs> watching what we're doing yes. here. You know? If you come to the Masters, you come to the Masters, you get to get in on inside secrets That's and right. techniques by coming here. So. And now Verlinda's going to do her dance. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just. We're do the Chinese, yeah. <laughs> but doing hey, Bruce, can you go through this just one really yeah. quick more? Yeah. I, I wasn't on when you went through that. Sorry. So what we've been talking about today is just the analysis of one of the top internet marketers. Can we say his name? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is so. This is uh, Jeff Walker who did the launch of this book. So Jeff Walker, who does the creator of Product Launch Formula, did a very interesting. Um, free book offer in the launch of this book, and recently Charmaine is on. He created hi Charmaine. Recently, he created a video on how it broke down and why these free book offers that you see all the top internet marketing guys doing were so successful. So he told us that he sold forty-one thousand books that you would get if you just paid the seven-dollar shipping fee. When you bought this book, you were sent to an upsell, another page, and seven percent of the people who bought forty-one thousand bought. A hundred and ninety seven dollar offer, twenty eight hundred units, made five hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. Out of either of these people, they both got a link for another offer, a bigger upsell for his main product launch formula, one point seven percent, and he made one one million three hundred and ninety one thousand nine hundred for a total of around two million two hundred. What we're discussing here today in the masters was this is a big time internet marketer. Lots of popular, uh, there's a lot of fans, a big platform. How can we apply it to us, you know, who aren't, don't have the kind of platform? So use the numbers of just using a thousand books. Somehow you were able to get a thousand people to go into a book offer. And you could do it as a PDF or as the book. So at a thousand books at two dollars, I just lowered the price, or two to seven, two thousand to seven thousand. On your upsell, and a lot of us have a course. 197 course, some kind of a course that we have, 7%, gives us seven, 70 units, 
13,790. So that's a nice little number, about $14,000. And if we had a bigger package, um, a $2,000 package, out of that package, we would get um, 17 units, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's $34,000. So for us, who don't have the platform that a big internet marketer has, um, who could maybe move a thousand, and you don't have to do this all in one launch. You can set it up evergreen, you could put a, uh, an ad on your site, put out some videos, just let it sit out there. We could bring in probably $50,000 by selling a thousand free books. So it, this is doable, and this is sort of the math um, that was behind it. So um, check us out at the Masters. <laughs> Come here and join us. <laughs> this is what we talk about and how to take and apply what the, what the big boys are doing, how we can do it ourselves. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Bruce. All right, so now we're going to take uh, just a 10 minute break to get your, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. We're going to come back and Sue and I are going to go through a, a, a teleprompter uh, uh, tips and stuff about how best to use a teleprompter. All right, so uh, join us sometime. Hi, you want more information, by the way, go to mastermindretreat.net. And uh, you can just enroll there, and some you'll see the old sales page, which is not not currently uh, live, but you'll at least get to opt in for more information. We'd love to have you. Charman said, uh, "Thank you, Bruce." Thank Chris you. Chris Carlson said, "Great info." Great, Chris. We missed oh, you. Oh, Chris, we wanted you here. <laughs> Joe Ifolito said, uh, "The meeting of great minds." Sounds and awesome. Charmaine. Uh, Chris said he's a peeping Tom. I did not know. <laughs> Apparently, that's good that he's not here. Yeah. Chris, how's your wife? Well, let us know how your wife's doing, but maybe not in the chat. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, Joe said, yes, yes, go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you. And he's going to share. He's going to share our, uh, our feed here. Thank you, Thank Joe. You. Thank, Thank you, Joe. You. All right, guys. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.